detained, tortured, and disappeared. But now that Yahya Jameh's regime has fallen, these Gambians are demanding justice. Yusufar was left unable to walk after he was hit by a stray bullet at a student protest 17 years ago. 14 others were killed. I want the new, the new government to help me for, the, for, my, for my treatment because I want to complete my treatment. I didn't, get, I didn't complete my treatment, so I want my health force and then justice. Investigations into regime crimes have opened and some members of Jamis' notorious security services have been arrested. But for the cash-strapped government, delivering justice is an uphill battle, with the start of public trials dragging on. At this moment, we want to focus on rebuilding a justice system that will not only ensure prosecutions, successful prosecutions, but at the same time safeguard the fair trial rights of the accused. In March, Male found himself standing over a makeshift grave to identify the body of his brother. He was killed after he was accused of taking part in an attempted coup in 2014. I wanted to know how my brother was killed, whether he was shot or whether he was uh, beaten to death. Oh, but the question remains, it wasn't answered, because this is something that is disturbing my mind. If justice is delayed, the pain is still there. Any kind of closure will be a long road. But the country is moving forward. Until January, protests like this were effective.